eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, food? and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. <laughs> oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? Um, no. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Oh, thank you. This Windhelm? Oh, rest in wrong place. Wrong place. Um, are you a spy? Hmm? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. Oh. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Yeah. Why be mean to Elves and Argonians? Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. <laughs> All right, then. Not courage. <sighs> Very cold. Very cold. Our hero, our hero, paint a warrior's heart. Hmm. I tell you, I tell you. Every night, I walk around the gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. Power of the ancient Nord but why? Why? Believe, you. Believe you a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash! I so mean! They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. Maybe do what King says. She says she's not a spy. Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor are elves, too. I bet they're working together. Uh, Thalmor Maybe I bad. should round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. Mm -hmm. Get out of my face. Mm -hmm. Mean. Walk towards me. Am I supposed to get out of your face when you walk towards me? Here, Dark Elf. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. It's good to spend some time on solid land. Here? Here? With him? Hello. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Uh, bed. Yes, bed. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Here's your silly card. Um, with the water, yes. Of course. Uh, that's not my colleges. Magic? Goodness, not here. Nothing dangerous like that. That's all kept to that college up in Winterhold. Mm. Better that than dealing with Ulfric's wizard like some do. Ah, Ulfric's wizard, yes. Know him. Nice man. Folks been hearing some strange stuff coming from the Aretino place. Mm. Chanting. Talk is, little Aventus is trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> I'll show you to your room, right this way. Beware, beware the dragon. Warriors from Hammerfell, they've got curved swords. Curved swords. 
Aventus? Aventus? It's the right quest, right? Aventus. In here? Aventus. Welcome to the House of Curiosities. Yeah. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. Busy. Busy. But... <sighs> what is all this? My sister and I inherited a modest sum of money. We decided to travel and seek out whatever adventures we could find. As we journeyed across Tamriel, we encountered tales of exotic and wondrous artifacts. We decided to collect as many as we could. My sister passed away some years ago, so I settled down here and opened the House of Curiosities. I think she would be happy to know that our collection has brought smiles to faces both young and old. Best is curious. Indeed I did. For a few septims, I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. Girl, girl. Splendid. If you'll just follow me, I'll tell you tales and show you wonders such as you've <coughs> never seen. But, but, but. These tools were found in a crypt outside Windhelm. Hmm. They belonged to the ancient Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before the days of the First Empire. <laughs> Most scholars believe that the Nords of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. These. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? I have some idea. Here is the Book of Fate, discovered in a secret room in the Arcane University. Uh. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader, so the words change from one person to the next. Some see only blank pages, and nobody knows why. Perhaps some of us are born with no destiny. Or maybe the blank pages signify an imminent death. Rest luck. Imminent death. But maybe not rests. Ah, now here's an item out of legend. Ah, this yes. is Iskramor's soup spoon. Now I know what eh. you're thinking. This is no spoon, it's a fork. Mm. Nobody can eat soup with a fork. Yeah. Well, my friend, you did not know Iskramo. Don't let this innocent-looking flute fool you. This is the Dancer's Pipe. Legend holds that the Dancer's Pipe has won wars, toppled empires, and changed the very course of history. None know its origin. But the stories say that men who hear its music are compelled to dance uncontrollably, no matter the peril. <laughs> to activate this strange power, one must only speak the magic words, which are... <laughs> oh my, I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't I? Rest has never danced. Not know how. And with that, the tour is over. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon. I think I'll have anything else. Oh, yeah. So this your to the house collection. of curiosity. <laughs> I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. Just seen flutes, fork spoon, buck, blank, buck. 
My sister and I once traveled the Turles. world to assemble our collection. Such adventures we had. Aventus. Rest got distracted. Hell is getting distracted. Mister, would you like to buy some flowers, please? Yes. Please, won't you buy a flower? Not much, but I hope you like them. Rest, buy flowers. All flowers. Uh, why are you out here? They're, they're dead. My mama died when I was little. Still I little. I don't remember her very well. You're still My father little. was a Stormcloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. <sighs> I'm all alone. I, I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but what else can I do? <sighs> come live with Rust. Really? Do you, do you have a place I could live? I have a tower. Two towers. But very chilly. No, not good for you. Stay here. Oh, well, thanks anyway, I suppose. You're a war hero, Gunwolf. Ulfric will listen to you. It's not that simple. Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. You've seen how we live? Cramped alleys, rundown buildings, few guard patrols. It's nice. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. I'll speak to Ulfric soon, but I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. You one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? Um, not really. And you're right, at least as far as I'm concerned. Don't let Ulfric or some of these other short-sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. Oh, is good. Is colorful. Some Nords not like Dark Elves. Why do you? Help the Dark Elves? Oh, you must have heard me talking to Malfir. The Dark Elves live in a run-down slum called the Grey Quarter. Ulfric's content to keep it that way. I guess they think I can open Ulfric's eyes to their plight and get him to lift a finger on their behalf. I'm trying, but Ulfric is set in his ways. For him, there's two kinds of people in this world. Nords, and the folk beneath them. Hmm. But I would be beneath. Doesn't care for us? Whenever a group of marauders attack a Nord village, Ulfric is the first to sound the horn and send the men. But a group of dark elf refugees gets ambushed. A group of Argonians or a Khajiit caravan. Hmm. No troops. No investigation. Nothing. There's a group of cutthroats out there right now that Ulfric doesn't lift a finger to bring to justice. As long as they don't threaten Nord land. But if they hurt Argonians, rest will help. That's a brave offer. I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. Mm. You deal with them. I'll make sure you get paid. Maybe this old soldier will throw in some lessons as well. Uh, old soldier. You a war hero? I killed a lot of high elves in the Great War, and I didn't die. I guess that makes me a war hero. The Great War. There was nothing great about it. Thousands died on both sides. And where did it get us? Did we really save the Empire? Or did we just plant the seeds for Ulfric's uprising? 